sister called my adopted daughter a mistake, so I cut her off from her wedding fund. Hi guys, so I created a profile just for this, I have a main account I use for my art. I don't really know how to post on this sub though, so please excuse any mistakes. Also I think it's important to give a TW. So, I, 32 female, Deanna am the eldest of 5 siblings, and I've taken on the role of the family caretaker for as long as I can remember. I helped our parents until their passing, and, frankly, it's exhausting. Dad died of brain cancer 3 years ago, and it was heartbreaking to watch him deteriorate over time and mom passed peacefully overnight after a long hard battle with breast cancer earlier this year. F cancer, so as the oldest, I just sort of became the de facto parent. I don't mind as I love my siblings, and it's kind of my thing to big sister friends and family a lot. I'm sort of ship's counselor, and I financially help out my family. I don't mind, as I work in tech, have a side gig doing art, and inherited land and money from mom and dad all that to say it's no real loss. A few years ago, I adopted my cousin's Charlie, 45 male child who I will just use her nickname Decker. My baby loves kickboxing after my cousin went to prison for slaughtering the Decker's mother in an alcohol and substance-fueled rage, which is too long a story to add here. It was a chaotic morning, paperwork and court hearings, but the adoption was finalized when the Decker was 5. Now, she's a happy, healthy 13-year-old who calls me mom. She's in therapy, and has been since I legally could send her as she witnessed her mother's death, and I couldn't be prouder of how resilient she is. She's my girl, my rock star, my whole heart and I call her that, literally my heart. Fast forward to my sisters, Clara, 30 female, upcoming wedding. I was thrilled for her at first, and she asked me to be MOH. I cried in joy and offered for my wife Honey, because we like the incredible lol, 40 female, and I to pay for it. Don't worry I asked Honey first. But during a bachelorette dinner I set up, she made a hurtful comment about my daughter, calling her a mistake and saying I shouldn't have taken her in. I stared at her and asked her what she meant and she said it wasn't like I was supposed to even have kids, as I am married to another woman. Then said no hate or anything and laughed but then she doubled down that Decker is likely damaged in a handful. Guys, Decker is the sweetest child alive. I mean she is a teen so yes sometimes she can get challenging or rebellious here or there. But when I say she is my whole heart, I mean it. She made us a family and made our house a home. She smiles easy, cries openly and has the emotional intelligence I wish I had myself. She always asks how are you doing, and she really means it, willing to listen to people. But she's a damaged mistake. I felt like a character in a dark, twisted episode of a sci-fi show. Defending my choice to adopt felt like fighting the Borg, like I just wouldn't assimilate. I didn't laugh it off with my sister and her friends. I just stared at her in pure disbelief. I think she knew I was hurt because she quickly changed the subject. I said I better get home, paid for everything and three more rounds and went home to my family. My sister came over the next day to yell at me for leaving and cutting them off after the three rounds I paid for. She said I owe her a do-over for ruining the whole weekend because I can't take a joke. Honey, who I of course told what happened, asked my sister to repeat exactly what she said about our daughter. My sister refused and kept calling Decker Charlie's child and I just was holding back so many tears. I told my sister that I wouldn't be contributing a dime to her wedding expenses, that I won't stop helping her pay her rent up until she moves in with her husband, but I won't be in or pay for the wedding of a person who sees my child as a mistake. Honestly, I was ready to go full on Jedi and sever that connection but Honey helped me temper myself. My sister lost it, threw the can of soda water we gave her at me, screamed how am I supposed to pay for this, and I said, you have over a year, you can save up. So left, shoving Honey out of the way in the process and blew up our sibling group chat. My other siblings are split. Some think I'm overreacting with cutting off funds for the wedding, while others agree that my sister crossed the line and needed the wake-up call. Now, I feel bad for my sister, I do love her and she is distressed by this, but I can't shake the feeling that standing up for my daughter is more important. Am I the idiot for refusing to pay for her wedding after that? Edit, I've been working on my work project at a local brewery and have been silently sobbing and reading the comments. Also wow so many comments, I was trying to reply to everyone but I honestly ran out of steam. I sent this post to my wife and also just bracing myself to talk to Decker tonight. We want to ask her if her aunt has done or said anything cruel to her about her. I am wishing hard that she's just confused by our questions and remain oblivious of this crap storm. I love my heart. I want her to always remain the bright, fun, loving, encouraging person she is. I don't want her to know anything about what her aunt has said. I texted my sister if she meant this, if she really sees me, my wife, and our daughter that way or was she just drunk and stupid and doubled down in embarrassment. 
Eth said, I don't want her near Decker anytime soon. I feel so lost. I wasn't planning on ever being a parent and there is no effing manual for this. What the F do I even do? Wish me luck for tonight. I will need it because if Decker tells us her aunt has been cruel to her face, I will have to hold my wife back from swinging on my sister. Relevant comments. Not the idiot. I am surprised you did point out that the only mistake I have made was to think you were a loving aunt and sister. She does not see you as a person, she sees you as money. I bet she is upset you adopted your girl because now how will she inherit it anything? She said you shouldn't even have a child, like I you never could have wanted to adopt. Or maybe you or your wife wanted a donor sperm. No she thought because you married a woman you would never have kids, then your money would be given to her and your other siblings. I never considered that, but yeah we were child free and glad of it before we got our girl. But I do remember when the adoption was complete, we had a full party, a sort of adoption day and we celebrate that anniversary every year, it's coming up soon. And I talked of never thinking I would change my will but I did. I wanted to be sure if I got hit by a bus or somehow final destination and something terrible happens to honey, there is a trust and funds for Decker to be physically okay, housed, clothed, etc. And there is even a fund for her therapy up until she is 25. She gets our house and our cabin. She gets almost everything. Of course my siblings would get things but less now that we have Deck. If that's the reason my sister resents my child, then there is some house cleaning I need to do. Take the money you would have spent on the wedding and put it into the college fund for your kid. Already done. The money we allocated for the wedding went to Decker's trust. She gets it if we both were die. May the ancestors forbid it, sooner than assumed, but also when she is a legal adult at 18. It already has enough for her to get her first degree, and we have talked to her about this, and for now she wants to get her second degree using the money my brilliant girl. But rest assured my sister, even if she apologizes, ain't seeing a dime of it. Make sure you have a good, responsible guardian for her too. Heaven forbid something happen before Decker is an adult. She needs someone to look out for her that won't be in it for the money. A separate trustee to protect the trust. Our best friend in the world will be guardian and his husband is our attorney. Update, I am trying to keep this short. Honey and I took Decker out to the local Oktoberfest celebrations. She had a blast, did crafts, danced to music, had beer, it was not beer in a pine glass, and generally had a great time. On the ride home my wife broached the long-awaited topic. We asked her how she felt about grandma's passing then went into how everyone handles things differently. We asked if mama, me or mommy, honey ever was hurtful and she named a couple moments we've been snappy or wouldn't let her do things, like a party at 2am, but no nothing else. We asked about Clara and she got quiet. Honey just looked at me but I was driving, so I just said you can tell us anything. Goober, you know that and she clammed up. I got my girls home and hugged my heart, Decker and went to the den. About two hours later my wife came downstairs to me and said Decker is in bed but no asleep and I should talk to her. I asked why and she simply said that Decker is willing to talk about it. I went up. Decker was ready for bed, in her PJs, reading. I just sat down on the side of the bed and asked her how she was. She just said mom told you huh. I told her I didn't know anything and Decker then said that Clara makes her uncomfortable and said hurtful things. When my wife and I weren't around, Clara would call her the lost puppy or the stray and once Decker remembers her to have told her to her face you're not real family and that once honey and I get a real child we will dump her. I can't explain the rage. The absolute, total, and complete red I saw as my daughter broke down telling me that she behaves so well and is so obsessed with grades so she can prove she is worth loving, worth keeping. After calling my wife we sat her down and told her that she is the best thing that ever happened to us and that even if we do have more children, she is our firstborn and our love. I cried and held her telling her she was my whole heart and that nothing will ever change that. She saved us, and I am so proud of her and us and all we've grown to become. I can't ever stop loving her, neither can her mom. We love her more than air. That will never change. Then I explained that Auntie was wrong for this. Auntie is jealous of her. Jealous of how much we love her. Auntie needs help but we can't give that help so she won't be around for a while. Decker asked us to stop talking to her like a child, so I was blunt. She's my sister and I love her. You're my daughter and I love you more. I told her my sister was wrong and hateful. I'm sorry that she didn't feel she could come to her mom or I but she can't. Every time, any time, we will choose her. Always. Decker asked me if it's her fault I hate Clara and I just told her hate is a choice and I don't hate Clara. I do love her. But sometimes loving a person means you correct them. Actions have consequences. My daughter got quiet and handed me her phone and Clara had been texting her awful things since she left my home. 
I can't even type them because I want to throw things but it's when I read my effing sister texting my teenage daughter go tell your so-called mom like a snitch and prove me right. I took a screenshot and texted it to myself. Decker fell asleep around midnight and my wife and I went to bed. I texted my sister the screenshot and said, You come into my home as my sister and treat my child like this. No, mom and dad would be ashamed of you. This is not how you treat any child, let alone your own niece. I have loved you since as long as I can remember. I know you were not raised to treat children so terribly, but as of now, you are not accepted in my home. You will not speak to or contact me, my wife, or my child. I will give you the money for October, Clara, but November on. That's your responsibility. I am no longer going to help. I'm sorry. This breaks my heart. But you crossed a serious and unforgivable line. Decker is my daughter. I am her mom. Do not doubt me here. And I want to be clear, if you ever come sideways at my family again, or contact my daughter at all, I will take legal recourse. From today on, we are low contact. If you try to make this into a bigger issue, it will be no contact. If you don't understand, here are resources to help spell it out. I love you, D. Update. I kept my promise to my wife to wait before reacting. She knows me best and knew I was prepared to go nuclear. Turns out, I needn't have bothered. Let me clear up a couple of small details and misconceptions I've read. I am the eldest of the siblings. Mom and dad have been sick for years on and off. So to those who think I've just started taking over as some weird power trip or something, no. I've managed their finances, maintained their properties, and taken care of all their affairs before either of them passed. Dad simply wasn't mentally able after a while, and mom never had a head for that sort of thing. Yes, I was mostly left in charge of my siblings growing up. Both my parents had businesses and worked often seven-day weeks. I cooked dinner and helped with homework and whatnot. I'm aware that's not very normal, and I already know some of you will call my parents terrible for this but they simply didn't know better. I won't hate them for any of it and as much as it caused me some negative effects, it also made my siblings feel safe. I'm proud of being able to protect them and be there for them when they were young so they didn't feel how I felt. And yes, I am also in therapy. I was the sole caretaker of my parents when they passed. The reasons are complicated but the short of it is, dad got verbally abusive towards the end and mom got severely depressed and blunt. They were a challenge to deal with on the best of days. I hold no ill will towards them, but there it is. My siblings didn't want to be around them. Dad was hurt and changed his will. Mom followed suit. For those telling me I am rewarding Clara by paying for literally this month, and that I'm not a real mom or a bad mom by loving my daughter's tormentor. I'm envious your world is so black and white. Rent is literally due today and the money was already in transfer to her via auto banking. And Clara isn't getting rewarded, she is remaining housed. But from now on, she's on her own. Clara and I used to be pretty close but she did get distant around the time Decker was adopted. I didn't know exactly why, just that the new dynamic was a challenge for her. I know she hates Charlie and considers him evil and irredeemable. She had a really hard time losing our cousin-in-law, Decker's biological mother, as they were very close so I assume her issues stem from this. I inherited the majority of everything though my siblings got sizable sums, three got all but one of the businesses my parents owned, and everyone got trusts. Clara spiraled after mom passed and had a mental health crisis. Before we got her help, she traveled, drank, and gambled away her entire inheritance. Long story for another time. I didn't have a moment to cool down and wait until today to give myself a chance to make a level-headed decision regarding my sister. Clara has spun the tale that I am jealous she found a loving man and am withholding mom and dad's money from her. She gave the perception that I was the one abusing Decker, putting her down, and telling her she isn't my real daughter. That shut down when I sent my text a couple days ago. Yesterday, Clara was on my doorstep. She was crying and begging for me to let her in but my wife and her friends were inside and I made it clear I don't want her near my family as she emotionally abused my daughter and physically harmed my wife. I told her to leave or I would call the police to have her removed. I was going to call the police anyway because I told her never to come to our home again, and there she was. There's a reason I said this in text, so I could in an event like this show them clear as day that she would know she is welcome. Clara started to beg saying she will apologize to Decker and she was drunk and upset and made mistakes. I could tell she was drunk, or high, or something. I told her it's not a simple mistake to bully a traumatized teen girl, and make her feel unloved and unwanted by her own family and to text her that she is worthless and expendable. What the F? I got angry and just started to raise my voice. I don't know when I started to yell but I did. I just lost it. She's a cold-hearted, awful, self-serving brat. Spoiled beyond belief to being so delusional that this all would just go away. That she's entitled to the money my wife and I make. 
that our parents gave us after all she did. She needs effing help and I am done being the giving tree here. You don't ever hurt my child. She's lucky I have a head to keep my hands to myself and luckier still honey isn't out here because she certainly would not so go the f home. Clara slapped me across the face and called me a tramp and a traitor that I choose that demon spawn of a child over her. That I love Decker more than my own real family and turn my back on her this way. Honey must have been right by the door because before I could make a very bad choice she had yanked me inside, told my sister that she had 60 seconds to f off and slammed the door closed. Clara left quickly but we still called the police and handed over the footage from our property cameras of what happened, as well as the texts from our phones. Clara went ballistic over texts telling me awful things ending with her hoping I take my own life, and she would celebrate. Absolutely unhinged awful crap like that. I blocked her, sent every piece of footage in a Google Drive and dropped the link in the sibling group chat and sent it to Kevin her fiancé. I then sat down and cried myself into a fit before Decker came home from practice. I put on my mom face for her and made sure she did her homework then I went to the den and called my aunt, Decker's biological grandmother, and told her what happened. My aunt told me that Clara is renewing her conspiracy that I harming Decker, and that I need to be careful because she suspects Clara is having some sort of mental break and might do something crazy. Honey and I have spent this whole day working on a request for a protective order from her. Making sure Decker's school knows no one is to pick her up but us. And get a lawyer because I think legal action is needed here. I told my eldest of the brothers that Clara needs help and asked if he could check on her because she might be as much a danger to herself as she is now presenting to be to me and my family. He got quiet and said can't you handle this. And said this drama was too much and he's busy. I was so stunned I just blurted out are you effing kidding me right now. Before I just hung up. My other sister is now over, helping me deal with this. My other brother has gone to see after Clara, but says he will only make sure she hasn't hurt herself but beyond that she can get wrecked for what she's done. Kevin called me and said he went through the Google Drive and begged me not to call the police on Clara. He said that she has been having a really bad time, and has struggled with drinking and has been stealing his medications and he's trying to get her help. But if she gets arrested, he doesn't have the funds for bail PR any legal help. I told him it's too late. The police have been called and he needs to get her into some sort of rehab or something. He asked for our help to pay for a facility he was thinking of and I told him to keep her away from me and my family. He started to cry and told me I'm an awful sister, that I don't care about Clara and her struggles and that she's just lost and he's underwater trying to keep her from going off a deep end. I didn't reply after that and have just been sitting around the house waiting for the police to call back, trying to get my crying out foe the way before Decker comes home from school. I feel wretched and terrible because not matter what I do now, it will just never feel right. I was to look after them all and now my sister is this lunatic hellbent on burning my life down and my brother is alarmingly just indifferent to it all. I am used to being the one that holds the family together and handle things. But I don't feel like I can handle anything anymore. WTF is my life. Some comments. Seriously your brother and Kevin need to wake the F up. She needs help and hopefully she'll be court ordered to get help. This unhinged behavior is a direct threat to you and your family. Shut the crap down hard. And if anyone has the audacity to try to blame you, they're full of crap. Your sister did this to herself and this is the consequences of her actions. Don't let them guilt you into paying for rehab. Let them figure it out for once. Hugs to you and your family. Stay safe. Yeah, it's clear you've always tried to be the one who holds the family together, taking on so much responsibility and caring for everyone but your sister's behavior has crossed an unforgivable line. It's not just about her calling your daughter a mistake, it's the emotional abuse, physical harm, and sheer cruelty she's inflicted on you and your family. You've done more than enough for her, and it's understandable that you're feeling torn and overwhelmed, but protecting your child and your family comes first. As the oldest myself and I was parentified too, there's only so much you can do. She is at the age and the point you have to wash your hands of her. You did take care of her, far longer than you should have. She wasted her inheritance and was living off you and your wife. Your wife and child are your immediate family now and should always be your main concern. Your sister did this to herself and apparently your brother helped her with this by not dealing with her stealing from him. If Clara is in jail she will get the time to get off substances and possibly get some mental health help. Don't get sucked into paying for a rehab because if she doesn't want to get clean she won't and your money is gone. Get the protective order and make sure your daughter is listed on it too. Get screenshots of all the text messages sis sent her to for the record, you'll need it. Good luck in dealing with this but you are doing the right thing. Honey, I'm gonna be frank with you. 
F your siblings if any of them do not want to help you in the situation or take Clara's side cut them off. You have to do what's right for your family right now. Your future brother-in-law is a piece of crap. He let her get like this and didn't warn any of you. He's enabling her and if he can't handle his future wife, that's him. You are not a bad sister for knowing when to cut her off. She assaulted you. That's a hard line for pretty much everyone. It doesn't matter what she's going through if she is going to be physically and emotionally abusive to you and your family. Your brother needs to pull his head out of his sass though or he's going to be only with Clara for the rest of his life. He won't have many siblings if he keeps this up. Thank you so much for watching until the end. If you really like our videos, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.